Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am Vanessa. I have a van. Her name is Treasure, and I also have a travel trailer, and her name is Blessings. Y'all, I just got through filming this whole video all the way to the end. Girl, it was good and everything. Got ready to edit it. Had sound at the beginning. Girl, halfway in the middle, no sound. Whole video, no sound. Had to delete it and start all over. So this is the second time. Hopefully the second time is the charm. Otherwise, girl, if I have to film this thing again, it's going to be without this mic. Because the mic is our right. But it be having technical difficulties, y'all. The green light, I'm checking the green light to see if the green light is still on. Everything's still on, but I still didn't have no sound. So, you guys, I am here to talk about the elephant in the room. A lot of people are asking me, can you pull blessings with treasure? The answer to that question is yes. Blessings can be pulled. She is a trailer she can be pulled with any vehicle that is equipped to pull her. Uh, Treasure doesn't have a tow package on it. So if I did want to pull Blessings, I would have to put a tow package on Treasure. Right now, Treasure, I mean Blessings, y'all, all these names, girl. I always wanted a daughter, you know, but I only had one child and it was a boy. So, girl, I didn't have no girls. But all these names, I can't keep up with blessings and treasure and girl. So, anyway, uh, blessings is comfortable where she is. Like, blessing serves a purpose. I asked God for somewhere where I could have stability where I could just rest where I could let my hair down where I could just recuperate where I could write where I could exercise where I could fast blessings was a blessing that served multiple purposes and I'm not thinking about moving blessings like not right now I'm not thinking about moving blessings blessings is where she is and uh, the rent is cheap enough for me to afford her. And so I don't feel the need to be in a rush to move her anytime soon. Uh, I am continuing to save money for the purchase of some land or a van in the near future. And that's what I've been saying. And I really have honestly and truly been leaning toward the land that's where i've been thinking it would make more sense for me to do to invest in land but here lately like the last week or so god is tugging at my heart and saying and giving me reasons why it should be the van next and not the land so that's what i want to talk about today i want to talk about several things I want to talk about whether or not I will be purchasing land or a van in the near future which one I'm gonna purchase next because I'm gonna purchase both in the near future but which one's gonna come next and how to make a difficult decision when you are confused and you don't know what to do so I am going to admit 100% that I am confused. There is a choice to save for and to purchase land in the near future. And there is also a decision to purchase a new van in the near future. So I'm like this, y'all. I'm rocking back and forth. I'm leaning land, van, land, van and then the boat is rocking land van land van land van land van and which one it could be so confusing you guys ultimately no matter which decision i make it would be a beneficial and a good decision however if you rush into any decision or you make any decision harshly and prematurely 
that decision can cost you greatly down the line. So whatever decision you make, you want to make sure you're making a sound decision that is led by your master, the person who is in charge, the person who holds your future in his hands. So at one point I was leaning toward the land. Weeks pass, I'm leaning toward the van and I really think it's going to be the van. So let me tell you guys, you know, how I'm coming up with that decision, what's leading me to that decision. Life is so short, you guys. Life is short. Life is not promised. Nothing is promised. Tomorrow is not promised. Your health is not promised. Your finances is not promised. Nothing is promised tomorrow. What it is that you want to do today, you need to do it today. The land is more of a tomorrow in the future goal. A van is more of you traveling right now, you experiencing and seeing new things right now, you making the most of what your life has to offer right now, and you being where God wants you to be right now, and you going where God wants you to go right now, and you having reliable transportation to get there right now. So... It's like those are the things that God is speaking to my heart. He's showing me things that he have planned for me, places he have for me to go, people he have for me to see. And I'm going to need reliable transportation to get there. And not only that, God want me to do it in style. So uh, I'm leaning toward, at the moment, the van. And God is also dealing with my heart in reference to the land because I don't really know where, what state that God wants me to purchase land in. And it's like I'm kind of forcing myself to decide to purchase land in Texas because that's all I know. And God is saying, but I have so much in store for you and so much more that I want you to know, Vanessa, and so much more that I want you to see, Vanessa. And girl, when you see some of the stuff that I want you to see, you're going to think it's so beautiful and you're going to be taken away with it. And then you're going to want some land there. So why not wait on the timing of God for everything, you guys? And I think that that's what God wants me to do. I think he wants me to wait on him, wait on his timing, wait on his direction, wait on his vision. And God led me to treasure who answered prayers in many different forms. She gave me the stability that I needed to be able to rest, take a load off. She is feasible. I'm not moving blessings from this spot until I know I'm moving her for good. I'm not moving her from this spot. She is reasonable. This is a lovely spot. I love it. I like it. Even though I might not, this might not be my, this is going to be my home away from home, but this might not be my home away from home during the summertime, but during the wintertime, I have a place to come. I have a place to take a load off all of the activities where all the nomads are going to be in court site during uh, the months of October through March. This is the place to be. So I'm preparing now for what's going to happen in October through March. And I'm going to have, I'm going to be a step ahead of myself in prep preparation. So I'm in no rush, you guys. And that is the key to uh, life is not being in a rush, not rushing anything. By the time I think by December of this year, for my birthday, I'm born on Christmas Day. 
I think I'm going to buy me either a 2022, 2023, or 2024 brand new van. And it's going to be a new adventure, even though I've purchased three cars off the parking lot brand new with no money down before. This is going to be different because this is not just a vehicle to travel in to get you from point A to point B. Point A to point B. This is also going to be a home that you could travel in to get you from point A to point B. And so, yeah, I'm excited. And blessings is a blessing in disguise, too, because when I do get the other van, guess what, you guys? Blessings is going to be a place where I can work on my van bill. But I'm not in a rush, you guys, because when you first get a vehicle that you think you want to live in, I suggest you live in it with the bare minimum to just live in it, to get comfortable, to see where everything is, to come up with your floor plan, to decide everything. I think you should add your solar first. When I get another vehicle to build out, I'm doing it totally different than the way I did it this time. I had no experience from life. You gain experiences. And from those experiences, you learn what you need to learn. And so I've gained an experience from doing my van bill to how to do it right the first time. And the first time you add all of your exterior things first everything that you're going to need to have access to the uh outside access to the walls to bolt stuff in you want to add all that stuff in first you want to put your solar in first you want to put your max air fan fan in first you want to put your uh roof rack in first you want to put your uh ladder on the side of the van whatever you're gonna mount on the side you just want to do all of that first so you can have access to the wall before you put your installation in before you put your uh your wall up you want to have access to your wall you want to put all your lighting on the inside in so i'm gonna work from the outside And the inside is going to be the last thing on my mind. And that is the proper way, in my opinion, to do a van bill. So when I first get my van, girl, I'm going to be traveling in my van. I am not going to be thinking about the inside. As long as I got a mattress up in there, something to use the bathroom in, and some blankets, girl, I'm going to be fine. So I'm going to show y'all how to do uh, survive in a vehicle with the bare minimum from the beginning. So, uh, what is that noise? So you guys, let me know in the description, in the comment bar below, excuse me. Let me know in the comments bar below what you think about what I said. I am going to do my decision on possibly purchasing a new van. Let me know if you're excited about me purchasing a new van. Let me know if you uh, are excited to see a future van build. And uh, yeah. That's it. And that's all. So I am going to end this video here. If you have any other videos that you want me to make, anything else that you want me to talk about, anything else that you want me to share with you about my journey of van life or a nomad, let me know in the description box or in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are not subscribed already. I want to get this channel to where at least 80% of the people who watch me daily are subscribed to the channel. That is not the case right now. So if you watch me and you watch me on a regular basis, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Look below the video, you're gonna see the word subscribe. 
if that button is black you have not subscribed to the channel if it's black or red you have not subscribed to the channel hit that button once it should turn gray or white and then it should say subscribed with ed which means you're subscribed already so if it's if it doesn't say subscribed if it doesn't have ed on it you are not subscribed and if it's black you are not subscribed hit that button for me girlfriend and subscribe to the channel and let's get this channel to 50,000 subscribers if you are not subscribed to nomadic therapy that is my behind the scenes live stream channel where I go live and I per, uh, post encouraging and motivational videos over there daily that is where I'm going to have my exercise videos coming soon over there so make you sure you subscribe to their channel and let's get that channel to 20,000 subscribers also if you want to support this channel in any shape form of fashions I make it off of the donations of my subscribers and my YouTube check and my YouTube check is based on you watching the videos all the way through to the end you commenting and you leaving thumbs up and you sharing out my channel with your friends and your family members so if you want to support the channel in any shape form or fashion my information also is in the description box below all you have to do is look underneath the video look for more click more or the down arrow twice and all my information is going to be there if you want to send me something for my housewarming party part two which is going to be around June the 30th uh, or a couple of days before then then you can shop my Amazon wish list to send me something I'm gonna to talk to you guys later hopefully the recording on this worked if not I'm screwed and I'm gonna to have to do it over uh, but I will talk to you guys later and I appreciate you guys and I love you guys if I did not touch on something that you wanted to know uh, about my future purchase of land or van, let me know and I will be sure to address that in a future video. Thanks for watching. Bye now. I'll talk to you guys later. And thanks to the person that sent me the ring light off of my Amazon wish list. Girl, I'm using it today. Thank you so much and I will talk to you guys later.